Greetings everybody, I hope you're feeling well and doing great. Welcome back to one more video uh, from our bling bling collections from hyperpix.net. So in this video I'm going to introduce you one more of our amazing products which our VIP users and members have loved it so much which is a, a high praised product. So it's going to help you how to convert your text or logos in a, such a professionally way into this brilliant, magnificent style in less than a few minutes. Uh, so this template, uh, which you see right now, is the result of our designers working for so many hours which they have uh, worked so professionally on it and as you see the result is stunning so if you want to download this uh star you just need to refer to our website which is hyperpix.net uh, and join the vip account and get the membership and you're going to access this style and hundreds of different styles and every single uh, project uh, product you see in the website and use them for your personal and commercial uh, works and increase the level of your projects uh, so let's get on with editing this uh, style and working with it and we're going to see how to do so uh, just don't forget that uh, like all our other products this style works on all the other language perfect uh, as you see this is how it works on Japanese uh, the style is converted so so beautiful on this text as you see just check out the details so don't worry if you want to use any other language uh, so we're going to get started just a right click on the yellow layer and click edit content so in the window which appears right here just type your text for example I'm going to type hip-hop right here so I'm just going to uh, decrease the letter space right here uh, I'm going to bring it right in the center just um, minimize a little uh, and as you see uh, the text has a little bend or an arch which if you want to increase it or uh, decrease you just need to select the text tools just right click right here and select warp text uh, so uh, we have the level of the bend right here which you can um, increase or decrease the bend also we have a vertical distortion right here which is the uh, slant which you can uh, place on any level you want and get to the results you uh, wish and desire so also if you want to just um, increase the height of the text a little just increase this section I think it's uh, excellent right here just close and click save and rate for a moment to your uh, style is applied to your text so as you see we're back right here just check out the result which is amazing and uh, it's so attractive and eye-catching uh, so now we're going to uh, customize and get on with the other groups and layers and you're going to see how easy you can work with it so uh, in the first step uh, from the effects folder we're just going to switch off the extrusion um, temporary which is the 3D effect so our Photoshop is a little lighter and a little faster uh, but finally we come back and switch it back on so don't worry about the 3D effect so the first group is the adjustments which is the uh, light uh, color and brightness and contrast settings as you see if I switch it off you're going to see the effect you can just uh, select the uh, uh, levels and adjust so the two uh, layers here are the text layers at the bottom right here which you can just remove them or edit the text uh, I'm not going to change the text I'm just going to leave it as it is but you know what to do so the important part right here is the sparkles which play a very very important role in our text uh, as you see uh, when the text is changed the sparkles haven't changed a uh, place uh, because uh, it's not automatic and you need to uh, do it manually and just select the sparkles one by one and place them in the right place or wherever you like I just suggest you to um, put a little effort and uh, be a little patient and put a few minutes of your precious time uh, to place them one by one in their right place uh, you can uh, place it on the edges of your text and the corners or between uh, these 
diamonds which you see right here uh, as you see just uh, you can also minimize them with control and T and place them here so I'm not going to uh, take the time of the video I'm not going to carry on but don't forget to continue and place all of the sparkles in the right place so the next part is the chain sparkles which are the sparkles which belong to the chain which you can also do the same just uh, get the sparkles and drag them select them and place them in the right place of the chain or wherever you think it looks better so uh, the next uh, part is the effects folder, which we're going to just ignore this folder because it uh, contains the main layers of our style. Uh, but if you want, uh, you can just um, edit these uh, patterns or these uh, diamonds in the uh, style. You can edit them. Or uh, if you want, you can just... Um, make the size of these uh, stones and diamonds a little smaller uh, just uh, place the scale on 50 as you see the size is going to uh, be a little smaller uh, also if you want them much more tiny just uh, place it on 25 which they're going to be very tiny I'm just going to leave it on 100 I think it's great uh, so it's going to carry on um, so we have the uh, chain uh, layer right here which is the uh, chain settings which you can just uh, move the chain around just uh, bring it up or down which you need to select the sparkle as well and drag both of them together towards up just like this uh, which you can place it wherever you want so i think it's uh excellent right here so the final part is the uh, in the background we have the particles which are these uh, particles you see uh, in our style which you can select them one by one get copies of them uh, as you see right here or you can just uh, change their place and move them around or uh, if you don't want them you can just switch the whole layer off just like this uh, so we're finished with editing right here we're just going to finally switch the extrusion back on from the stars folder to have our brilliant 3d effect back so as you see uh, the result is so beautiful uh, so as i promised at the uh, beginning of the uh, video uh, you can apply it to a logo as well and i'm going to show you how we can uh, use it on a logo just need to come back to this window right here and bring your logo right here insert it I'm going to use uh, lose coca-cola logo I'm just going to place it right here in the center so we don't need this tape it's going to remove it you don't need to do any other things just close and click save so as you see uh, the result is amazing I mean, it's mind blowing. We didn't do any extra things. We just inserted that logo and clicked save. So we just need to do a little uh, customizing right here. Uh, bring the logo a bit up, uh, put the sparkles in the right place and get finished. So I'm not going to take your time. I've uh, done it before and I'm going to show you the result. And here we go. This is the result. As you see, it's magnificent and it's so, so stunning and you just need to just uh, put a little effort and customize and you're going to get to a result even more excellent than what you see right now. So thanks for watching this video. Thanks for choosing us. Uh, thanks for your time. Uh, if you like uh, this style, you just need to refer to our website, which is hyperpix.net and uh, join the VIP account, get the membership uh, and you're going to have a complete ex access to this style and all the other templates you see in the website which belongs to the vip members so if you like this video don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel and share with your friends so thanks for watching this video bye to our next video from mary